So this is our front door and our laundry room right here. And this is our front hallway. That is the door to our garage and the door to our master bedroom. And this front hallway is always a fire hazard. So I am also, all, well, it's a fire hazard, but also I am in the market for a writing space. And this hall closet, which looks like it actually is pretty useful in the sense of it's, you know, got storage and all that. We actually don't use it that much. And most of this stuff before I moved it in here was actually in the laundry room. So what we're going to do is, uh, or what I'm going to do is clean this out. My dad is going to make me like something like this, but a little bit lower down. And it's going to be my desktop. And then it's going to be my little writing nook and I'm going to paint it and I'm so excited. And then this area will most likely be clear. I do have a craft cart that I'm thinking about um, setting right here maybe as a little bit of extra space because we really don't use this hallway. I mean, that's why it always becomes a storage space. And I don't like it being a storage space, but I thought maybe if we use it as a little office area um, as I'm you know, tr moving towards trying to be uh, an independent author, it might be nice to have a little, um, not only creative space, but also quote unquote business space of sorts. So um, yeah, I'm really excited. I'm thinking about, I'll leave up this for now, but I am thinking about moving this like little, this little chalkboard mail holder. It says happy church new year. Um, the Orthodox church new year begins on September 1st and this was from 2020. <laughs> I have not changed it since then. So like, it just is useless at this point. And so I think uh, I'm going to remove this and then put instead like a bulletin board or something like that there. And for now, like I said, I'm going to leave this here. But I think, look, look how dusty this is though. Like I don't like that. Oh my gosh. That's like, <laughs> I don't even remember when I, if I've ever cleaned that since hanging it up. So clearly um, it is not really in use. So I might actually move some of this elsewhere and make this like, a, you know, get a, a bulletin board or something like that for behind here eventually too. Um, and then the only thing I'll have to do is get a chair. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited about it. So hopefully um, over the next day or two, I'll be able to uh, edit this video together with some clips of the new little office space. Very exciting. Is that fun? It is fun. <laughs> I've never painted a wall in you did once, but you just won't remember it because you were like three and I let you paint a wall in our bath in our bedroom. Kitty, go back into the room. Hey, kitty, kitty, kitty. <laughs> We've discovered the roller. <laughs> now I want to paint my room. Yeah, maybe we'll maybe that'll be our next project. Hey, Declan, show me your hair. <laughs> We're gonna need to get some more paint. It's coming along. All right, so here is, cool. we did the first coat, my son and I, and it is probably the messiest paint job I've ever done, but only messy because I wasn't as, I probably didn't prepare as much as I have for other, that's a paper towel roll right there, not, not a missed spot. Um, but, uh, Probably only the messiest in the sense that I wasn't prepared. It, I, like I had my paint and a brush and that was it. I, I used the old curtain that I had hanging on the door for like an extra tarp and I, an old towel. Like, so it was pretty, uh, pretty randomly painted uh, or pretty random project. But um, yeah, so this is the first coat and hopefully we'll try to finish the second one later. Also, I don't know what this stain is. It looks like it's... Now something sticky. Cool. Wonderful. Mom life. <laughs> yeah. All right. Here is the finished closet, uh, at least paint, paint wise, uh, paper towels up there and, um, yeah, so it's looking, it's looking good and I'm really liking the color and this is a chair uh, I got from TJ Maxx. Um, that, uh, it, it looks pretty short, but it comes up higher and it will fit perfectly into, into the office or into the nook underneath the desk. So that will be really great as well. So my dad was just here taking official measurements and hopefully we'll have the desk in 
uh, the desk top in either tonight or tomorrow morning. And my dad just left and he has put in oh. the desktop. Here's a chair I found at TJ Maxx that measured. I purposely tried to find a chair. I can't remember if I showed this in the last clip or not, but um, I purposely tried to find a chair that would be um, smaller uh, measurements than the door so I could push it all the way in um, so it wouldn't be out in the middle of the hallway when I wasn't using it. And I just love it so much. So now I get to kind of decorate and start setting stuff up. My dad is going to come by. He was going to do it today, but he would have had to go back to his shop. And I told him not to worry about it because he's already close to home. But um, he's gonna, he has a circle saw and he's going to come in and cut me a little circle back here so I could run a cord, like um, get like a long, uh, oh, I can't think of what they're called, but like a power strip. And I'm going to get a rug for this hallway and then I'll run the cord under the rug and then through here. And then I can plug in like a lamp or, or something like that through, through the hole once he, once he gets that. But for now it is what it is and I love it and I can't wait. I want to get a pegboard for this back wall. Um, yeah, super excited. Can't wait. Can't wait. And I'll pr maybe get some kind of curtain -y thing for here, but we'll, we'll see. But this is it now. And obviously it's it's kind of hard to show because it's a pretty narrow hallway. But there's kind of from, from back here. So yeah, I'm digging it. All right. So this is kind of what I've got so far. Nothing too crazy at the moment. Um, but, uh, and already it kind of looks, looks a little messy, I know. But um, uh, this is just kind of some of the stuff that I am working on. Um, I'll go through one of these at some point. I actually have this little like closet hook thing, uh, cause this is obviously a closet and I thought about, I have this like attachable, I just don't think it's long enough, unfortunately, but this like attachable tripod thing. And I'm like, Oh, that could be perfect to film right here if I got like enough light. Um, but I'd have to get a longer tripod, I think, obviously. Uh, that being said, this is kind of my little setup so far. I found this great thin garbage can at Ross for like $4, I think. Uh, no, I think it was actually $3, $2.99 or something like that. And um, I thought that was great because it gives me some space. I've already mentioned the chair. Um, I may try and find like a thin like drawer thing that I can push underneath this. Um, I've got this little, uh, like stress ball thing. It's ah, almost dropped my coffee break stress ball into my actual coffee. Um, so I've got that there. Um, these are, this is a keychain I've just had since I was a kid, like a, like a teenager, like a, like a young teenager. And then this I got when I went on my riding retreat. So I'm going to hang those up. I like those kinds of things. Um, here I've got, um, I want to put a hanging wall file folder on this side uh, so that I can like put like my happy planner in it, like kind of stick it in it and just have like it off the desk because this is, I think this is going to end up being my writing quote unquote work planner, so to speak. Um, and I'll explain kind of all of this. Um, sorry, it went out of focus for a second. I'll explain kind of my planner system for this year because I know that last year, one of my last videos was about how... I had no idea what I was doing for a planner. And I think um, I've kind of come up with a system with these things. So I've actually been using it fairly, fairly well. So um, I had started the year off with one other planner at, that's actually in there. Um, but then I ended up started doing these and I think, uh, or I started with these and I think these will work really well. Anyway, that's not what I'm talking about though. Not right now. Uh, I'm gonna put a pegboard with some pin cups and shelves on this wall. Um, once I find one and then I want to have a half white board, half cork board on this wall. Um, and I just, uh, specified that I wanted the white board. I know you can kind of turn them over or, you know, turn them upside down, but sometimes they come with like a little pin, like tray. And so it wouldn't work if it had a tray on it, obviously to turn it upside down. But the idea is I really, I want to have the white board on this side. So it's easy for me to jot things down just because I'm right handed. Um, so that's that. And then I've got, this is, um, my current work in progress. I made, I took a little moleskin, uh, 
notebook and just um, I'll flip through that eventually once I get my project done. And uh, this little thing I got from Barnes & Noble, Novel Ideas, I just thought that was great. And then, um, sorry, I'm knocking down my sticky note. Um, and I'll grab that in a second. And then this I got from like TJ Maxx or someone a long time ago. Hopefully one of these ideas is promising. So those are kind of my writing notebooks. And so I'm leaving those there. And then I jotted down obviously some things that I needed to get. This is a little pen holder. I actually had pens in it in my in my room, but I took those pens. They were like markers and colored pencils. And I took those out and I'm gonna put new pens and stuff in here. Um, I just wanted that in here. Uh, my dad used to work on, well, he still works on like horse trailers and live in campers and stuff. So my dad's pretty creative. And so, um, and he's always been really encouraging of mine and my siblings creativity. And so that always reminds me, campers and trailers always remind me of my dad and they're kind of like trendy right now. So there's a lot of them around. Um, so I, I can't remember where I got that, but anyway, it reminded me of my dad. So I liked it and I got it. And then up here, I'm going to get some shelves or something. Um, not, I'm sorry, not shelves, but like storage something or other. I think I want to get some bookends, um, and have like some of my writing books up there and then maybe some like drawers or something. I'm not really sure. Something that I can just kind of add extra storage. And so it's not just this big wasted space. And I could, you know what? I could actually put another shelf up here. I would just always have to get on a stool to get to the things. And then I also probably bump my head because obviously it's not like super spacious. But, um, so I'm kind of deciding what to do with that. And I will, I want to get a lamp in here. That was the original goal, but I'll probably have to find on Amazon some kind of like, I've had these for a long time. I got them from like the taller, eh, can't talk, Target dollar spot a couple years back, um, during like back to school season. And I, they've just been in my off in my husband's office and they are like never used. So I'm like, this will work for now. <laughs> but I think I might get some kind of like lamp thing to go right there and like just so I can attach it maybe like a push lamp like I've got one of these um but obviously this isn't big enough to go right there like it wouldn't put off enough light so I don't know and then oh and of course I've got my stormy night candle as in it was a dark and <laughs> um good writing uh, encouragement so um there's my stuff for happy planner stuff I, that's another thing I think I might put some happy planner stuff up there because I do think disc bound is the best for me with regards to writing, uh, both writing like quote unquote as a business and writing just my projects and stuff. It's just easy to, you know, move things around and such. So this is what I've got so far and I just kind of love it. So not kind of, I, I do, I'm, I'm a little obsessed with it at the moment. So, um, this is my writing nook and uh, I'm so excited to start really using it and really get, get those words on paper. One last thing, uh, one last thing while I'm sitting in my little nook. Also, if you can't tell, I'm getting a little bit of a cold, but, um, this is an image of St. Porfirio's and I, uh, had this in here as well, right over here. And, uh, I realized when I was, um, editing the video pieces together that I didn't mention this. And I love this quote from him. Um, from his book, Wounded by Love. And it says, for a person to become a Christian, he must have a poetic soul. He must become a poet. Christ does not wish insensitive souls in his company. A Christian, albeit only when he loves, is a poet and lives amid poetry. Poetic hearts embrace love and sense it deeply. So I really love that quote. And so eventually when I get, um, when I get, uh, oh, what's it called? Um, bulletin board or something cork board up here uh i'll put that up um there's also a part of i believe it's the acathist of thanksgiving and there's a little part in there that's like a prayer for poets and scientists and inventors or something like that and that's a really i actually have it have it hanging up in my husband's office um but i think i'll do my own print out of it just because the colors on that one don't won't work in here um, they would they would actually they're yellow they're kind of like yellow and orangish but I could I don't know maybe I could hang that up here somewhere too I don't know that might be nice actually to have a little different color in here too we'll see but anyway okay that's it uh thanks for watching and have a blessed day